Dragon Age Inquisition was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, nudity, sexual content, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello. It seems very unlikely that she could be nesting at really? this time of year. Ah, fellow researcher, how can I help you? Uh, we'll have to speak some other time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Emeranath, and I play games for the internet, and today we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time I had to restart the game because it was having a crisis. <clears throat> <laughs> This time, we're gonna go do stuff and, like, clearing out the, uh, Abyssal High Dragon's, uh, nest-ish thing. There's bandits in it. And I know I hate when there's bandits in the area that I picked to lay my eggs. Mm. Mm. Never mind. <laughs> I think I'm very funny. And so where are you? Oh, it's the traps. That's what we have to get rid of. The traps. And then we have to remember where those traps are.
get somebody's attention. Kill the white claws. I've been killing them. He just stayed there. Okay. Okay, returned to Frederick. So, fingers crossed that now that I reset the game, uh, it, and restarted it, it should behave, and I can do the judgment next time I go back to Skyhold. Hi! Of course, Durin's theory of high dragon behavior is absurd. Yes, we discovered this. Yes? Did you need something? Raiders are dead. The raiders are no longer in the way. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait, and then wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in draconology. I'll bait the dragon. I'm off to plant the bait for the high dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. Mm. We'll have to speak some other time. I'm off to die for science. I mean, that's a pretty noble go goal, isn't it? Dying for science? Let's just, um... Mm. Yeah... Some... Just get my, uh... Dragon slaying stuff. And then I got distracted by sorting through my other stuff. I apologize. But, right. Let's do a zigzag. Now, smart eyed viewers. We'll note that we're placing the bait in the same places that the other bait was in. The traps. Like, they didn't even get rid of the traps to put the bait in. Like, I understand, uh, the limitations of... Baiting a dragon! On purpose! Right. Should have stayed home today. I'm sorry, darling. But I am gonna run over here. Because <laughs> there she An is. An impressive creature. There is a purity in such undiluted power. What? Well, you're not gonna say anything? Gosh. Look at her. Look at how pretty she is.
Oh god. Wait. He's only level 14. Okay. horns just like hers which just makes this awkward oh hey dragon hunter completed learn more about the dragons operation nameless blade let's what's down here Josephine, yeah. But what is down here? Mosaic piece? Ah! Two mosaic pieces. Okay. Memorial. Warden Constable Valandes. Warden Anika Torsig. Warden Barthol Arn. Warden Karaka, Warden Durin Aidukin, Durnan Aidukin, Warden Thomas Gavorn, Paragons among Wardens, brothers and sisters, we honor your sacrifice. Oh. Oh. That's lovely. I like that. Dwarvish Grey Wardens. I like that. I wish that they had Varric say something. If he's with you when you find that. But I guess Varric has had a lot of Dwarvish feelings in the desert. Which, honestly... <laughs> hey! Of course, Durin's theory of hydra yes, behavior is we've, absurd. Yes, we've talked about this. Oh, yes? Did you need something? So, about the dragon... The high dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? How wonderful! You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? Uh... I suppose you wouldn't have. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, sure. At time, of course. Of course. I could join your inquisition. Yes. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. Absolutely. Certainly. I'm sure the inquisition could use a draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. 100%. And with all that done and taken care of, um, 
I'm gonna head back to Crimson Wing. I don't think there's anything else to do out here. Except, you know, plot, which we're avoiding. Agent acquired. Lovely. Oh, love that for us. So, Rylan, there you are. Hi! Inquisitor. Status report? Report, Captain. What's the situation in the Western Approach? We're all breathing a little easier with that dragon gone. I wouldn't want to be up on the ramparts when a monster like her appeared. That's for sure. Hmm. That's all. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. Carry on my wayward son. Sorry. Sorry. Immediately where my brain goes. Um. Okay. So, with all that taken care of, mm -hmm. I'm gonna change my party. Where is that? To my fave boys. Yes, thank you, game. Apparently, it's not so doing you're better. Not in the magisterium. For the last time, not everyone in the Imperium is a magister. Uh, but they do pretty much hand out seats like they're candy. Yes, but it's that black licorice candy with salt on it, not the good kind. <laughs> you know, I can appreciate that. Oh my god. The game crashed. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to reboot my computer and see if that helps. Okay. Okay. I loaded an autosave. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. Anyway. Where was I? Oh yes, the pit of despair. Let's go to Samson's camp. Hmm? I think it's time. Samson is using the bodies of people to grow red lyrium and possesses powerful armor created from the crystals. Though Samson's armor may seem ugh, though Samson's armor seems impenetrable, there must be some way to weaken him. Travel to Samson's camp at the shrine of Dumat. This is it. The heart of Samson's command. I don't see him anywhere, or hear him, nor I. Make her tell me he hasn't fled. Also, everything's on fire. Um. <laughs> oh, hey! Actually, ah, fuck. I'm right in the middle. <laughs> oh, Cullen, it's nice to know that you can just teleport yourself through these things. Where is your helmet, young man? I 
actually. Um, um, okay. Good. Sorry. Right, because I've got my cleansing, my cleansing blade. Which is good for Red Templars and Dark Spawn. Seriously though, Cullen is like Oh hey, 24! Nice. Oh god, hi! must have ordered his Templars to sack his headquarters so we couldn't. Sorry, Curly. Someone tipped off Samson. I think you're right. Sorry, Curly. I love that nickname for him. Which makes me wonder, what is Cullen's hair like when it gets longer? Because it's pretty... Um, yes, we, we, we did play of the Tempest already, game. Cause, anyway, this is pretty short, and it's just kind of wavy. So, like, is his the kind of hair that gets much, much longer? Uh, or much, much curlier when it, as it gets longer? up here. Now, fun fact, if you grab that, uh, if you were to side with the Templars and face uh, the leader of the mages, that's who um, uh, Corypheus is vessel question mark would be I think pretty sure um uh you still end up here uh with as like the secret place oh fuck I Helen, your, your, your ruff is clipping through your shield. I think that's bad. Cullen! Hello, Inquisitor. You know me. It's Maddox, Samson's Tranquil. Something's wrong. I'll send for the healers. That would be a waste, Knight Captain Cullen. I drank my entire supply of Blightcap Essence. It won't be long now. That sounds... agonizing. Are you in pain? I was at first. Not anymore. I destroyed the camp with fire. We all agreed it was best. Our deaths ensured Samson had time to escape. You threw your lives away? For Samson? Why? Samson saved me even before he needed me. He gave me purpose again. I wanted to help. 
cosmetics. We should check the camp. Maddox may have missed something. Oh. Let's look around. Bottles? Lyrian bottles. Licked clean. Drinking it, wearing it, growing it. You can't say Samson isn't committed. How much red Lyrian is Samson taking? His resistance must be extraordinary. Uh, letters? <gasps> Samson left a message. Oh. Just to say, drink enough lyrium and its song reveals the truth. The chantry used us, you're fighting the wrong battle. Corypheus chose me as his general and his vessel of power. Now for such nonsense. Does he think I'll understand? What does he know? A dismal place to die. It can't have been much of a place to live either under Samson's command. Do you see anything useful? Is there anything in the camp that could help? Or point us to Samson? It's hard to tell. All I see is smoke and ash. This is Samson's idea of remaking the world. I prefer yours. Tell me about Samson. What else do you remember about Samson? The man he used to be. Does it matter? He used to be kind, only carries so far. Yet Maddox died to help him escape. Samson does command loyalty. Maddox deserves a funeral. We can't leave Maddox here. He should be properly laid to rest. I'll have someone take care of it. If even Samson did his best for Maddox, we can do no less. I'll keep looking around. You know, they say that Becoming tranquil robs you of all your emotions. But this loyalty, love, that's an emotion. It's just something that bears thinking about. This must have been Maddox's room. The fire couldn't destroy these entirely, whatever they are. Those are Lyrian forging implements of remarkable design. Intact, they'd be worth a fortune. Their own tools. Dagnus should be able to make sense of them. If Maddox used these to make Samson's armor, she could use them to unmake it. We have him. Let's just. Let's just go. Yes, I'm crying. <laughs> I am a delicate and fragile flower and a sensitive soul, and this sort of thing always gets me. Is that asshole still at my seat? Good. Okay. Let's try this. Just safety first. There we go. Before you is Servus of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the Approach, without his master's consent. I'm actually impressed. You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. 
I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, Your Worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor, and I can put them all at your disposal. Hmm. An informant. On probation. Liliana will assign agents to you. I expect them to inform me that you have been forthright. If you want redemption, you'll have to earn it. I can more than pay my keep, Inquisitor. Thank you. Yes, yes, I know. Slight disprove, slight I slightly approve. Judgments. Yes, 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 yes. Understood. Uh, let's check on my table. La 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 la. Everything hurts. <laughs> we will provide Zevron with the resources he needs without telling the crows, of course. Lord Enzo is proving elusive. More eyes than Hercinia can't hurt. Liliana. We received word from Zevron Aranai. Arain. Arainai. Arainai? Message sent to Skyhold. I have tracked the location of Lord Enzo Ren. Rather more venatory than I was expecting. Shall we say goodbye to our troublesome friend? So, involving ourselves in the assassination of an Antiquan noble is dangerous, as is allowing someone to steal the crow's target. If you trust Saffron to complete the task, let us part ways now. Everyone is talented, but also outnumbered. My agents can create a distraction. There they gonna go. Let's see what we have. And... Inquisitor Levenon, you may not remember me. I stayed at Skyhold for a time and later accompanied some injured soldiers to Ferelden. Our journey was more perilous than expected, and I only lived to write this thanks to the aid of the Inquisition. I have little to offer, but if I may be help the Inquisition in some small way, you only have to ask. Sister Paulette. I could arrange transfer to S Sister Paulette to transfer Sister Paulette to the Chantry in Denerim. Having a reliable ally in the capital's Chantry could prove valuable. Inquisitor. We had one of Liliana's spies bait Lord Basil into starting his rant at a recent ball. Just as he was reaching the climax of his argument, Lady Duquette entered in full Inquisition regalia with an entourage of our soldiers and exposed her father's lies. She then challenged him for to a duel for the Inquisition's honor. The Lord would not meet her blade and was shunned for the rest of the event, while Lady Duquette became the star of the evening. I don't think we need to worry about Lord Basil in the future, Josephine. Proving morale. Commander, everyone's grateful for a new cook for the new cook. A good meal after a long day certainly lifts the spirits. Talk around the dinner table has become more lively. Supplies and the approach are limited, but I swear that man could cook anything from nothing. One night he managed to produce fish and egg pie. I haven't had one of those since Starkhaven. Sometimes even the smallest things remind you of what you're fighting to protect, Knight Captain Rylan. Aww. Avoiding that. Uh, oh, can't do that. Do, 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 do. And let's put you. 
The Griffin Wedding Outpost has some access to water, but not enough to sustain the number of people there for a significant amount of time. The situation is not desperate, but if we are to maintain a presence in the Western Approach, the outpost will require access to fresh water. We should locate a reliable source as soon as possible. Cohen says this should be a high priority. A group of soldiers can be sent to locate and secure a water source for the outpost. Inquisitor. There we go. Okay. So now I have to... I really have to get through everything here in uh oh, there's so many and I want to take care of them all like um, before I move on to further plot because I'm not sure what will because sometimes some of it will leave leave become unavailable that's the that's it um the island of the democracy is too important to write down oh dear tonight then she is rarely dramatic without cause i was hoping you'd be by we've received letters Ooh. from archon redanus of tevinter and king marcus of nevara for both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of I'm not sure I'm honored. I assume that means they both want something very badly from us. You're quite correct. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. Mm -hmm. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. <sighs> what would you do? Rather, what's King Marcus like? What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecost. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. Does Cassandra support him? As a Pentecost, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentecost, her interest in politics is best described as thin. Mm. What does Re rather? Why does Radonis need us? Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Radonis has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. You know what? Fair. What's the Archon like? Tell me about Radonis. Like most Tevinter rulers. He's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. Really? What would you do? What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Arle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer game. Then we'll aid Tevinter. Tell the Archon the Inquisition will do Tevinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. Okay. Ooh. Influence. Oh, look at that. We're so close to leveling up. Um. Where am I going? Where am I going? Hello, beloved. Varric is a good buddy. Whoop. Mm. The red lyrium deposits are being destroyed, and we've cut the red templars down to the core. It's a pity Maddox thought his sacrifice was the only answer. But that leaves Samson with a severely curtailed army, and enchanted army he can't maintain. You did it. We did it, Colin. We both fought to make this happen. Don't sell yourself short. Well, I thank you, but my work's not done yet. We're getting recruits by the hour. There's more than a few ex-Templars among them. We've struck a blow and given people hope. This is a true victory. Inquisitor, I finished it. Are you talking? Sorry. Have it anyhow. <laughs> you mean this room? 
<laughs> it suddenly just appeared in my room. hand. I made it with red lyrium and what's left of poor Maddox's tools. The rune acts on the median fissures of lyrium to... It'll destroy Samson's armor. He'll be powerless. And Corypheus loses a general. We'll cut Corypheus off from his most powerful officer. Maddox covered Samson's tracks thoroughly. But wherever Samson's retreated, we'll find him. Your army stands ready, Inquisitor. For Samson, for Corypheus, for whatever you command. Mmm. That does feel pretty good. And there's our level up. Ah, wonderful. Um, and we got another perk point. I feel like I'm... There it is. I just wanna... Oops, my way on up here. Hi, Dorian. Always with the questions. What will people say? Mm. I should go. Naturally. I miss you. I wish we had more to talk about. Vargas claws removed. Really? That was it? Alright. Um. Inquisitor. Oh. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Cool. I'll leave you to your work. Uh, one, two, three, go! Go, oh, you're fine. Inquisitor. Okay. Mm. Okay. What do I have? What else do I have? Journal. No. Uh, favors for the first enchanted. <laughs> That's right. We talked to Vivian, and it was uh because we were more friends, not because. Her books. Inquisitor, what can I do for you, darling? Um, it's done. Your lost books have been found. My dear, you are a treasure. Yay! Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Any more stuff to talk I about? I always have time for you, my dear. Oh, let's talk about our friends. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? What exactly is Varric's role in the Inquisition? Aside from irritating Cassandra. My friend! Weenie. Okay, so that's a full. This one, we're missing one piece. Sorry, mosaics. We're missing one piece of invasion, two pieces of the archdemon, one piece of freed are the slaves. So, oh golly, it's windy out. Mercy. And we're missing piece. Four, six, five, eleven, three, twelve, one. We're missing piece ten, which is oh, haven't gone there yet. Okay, that's good. And I'm not gonna cut this out because it's important that you guys know this. So. Wait, invasion is Whoop. Invasion's the other one. This one. And 
this one we're missing piece 11. Oh! Okay. This one is in Chateau d'Orient. Oh, the Orient. I don't know why I keep calling it the Orient. Um, but okay. So I'm gonna run. with yeah oh come on game right where were we the invasion okay I will meet you guys back at the chateau and uh We'll go exploring from there. Oh! Cohen is ready. Deal with angry bars. Okay. So. This is... Um, the locked door. So the grand balcony. So we need to be here... Maybe over here. Okay. And because it's no longer haunted, none of the stuff is lighting up. Ah, oh, love that. Love that for us. Okay, so this is the library. I could see in the dark. This is the grand balcony. Nothing here that we didn't already get. But Invasion. Oof. And uh, Archdemon. I actually need to pop back over to Skyhole to see which ones were missing. And so I will head. I'll head back to Skyhold. Uh, get down which ones we're missing. And meet you in the Western Approach. Okay, so. Looking at this mosaic, this one is... The Archdemon. We are missing piece 10 and piece 12. Like, I'm gonna bring my my uh, uh, mouse cursor on screen for a minute. Hey, 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 hey. So these are numbered 1, 6, 2, 
ten, eleven, eleven, seven, nine, twelve, five, three, four, eight. So we're missing ten and twelve. And just like the one above uh, is missing, oh, what piece was that? What piece number was that? Read or the slave, read or slaves. I keep wanting to say the. Uh, it's piece 10 that we're missing because we haven't found the place that it's in yet. Increase your own. How? Qua? Hmm. Okay. Actually, before I go back to the Western approach, I need to find something in the Emprise du Lyon. It's where is it? It's the English wolf carving. Sana quarry. Adorable. I would prefer not to linger in its presence. Okay. So, we need to go, like, around here? Uh, I'm aware that this episode is probably going to run a little long. But. But. I'm... Gathering... Basically, as soon as I get access to this um, side quest, I'm going to call it. And then next episode, we can get more um, next episode, we can get the other missing pieces. Uh, northeastern section, which mm, I guess in the direction that I'm going. Seeing red, I know. Destroy it anyway. Thanks. I just not paying proper attention? Did 
There's bodies. That's Dracon's tower. very frustrating and I apologize. Here it is. Journal found near Dead Elf. Most of the journal's pages are ripped out, possibly used as kindling. Few of the final pages remain intact. Mithalan asked, first Villan lost, now this weather. Rill can't stop shaking. No one lays eyes on the cradle of Sullivan for hundreds of years, and now we'll die for a story after all. Ha. Huh. All right. Well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find the Cradle of Sullivan. And Inquisitor. Yes, hello dear. And next episode, we're gonna find the last two pieces of uh, the Archdemon. And then we're gonna go to the this Cradle of Sullivan place. Oh, right. Sterling reputation. Okay. When I heard your agents would provide a distraction, I did not expect such a roaring fire. The confusion, the running around in circles, it was all very lively. Of course, Lord Enzo and his Venatori were decidedly less lively at the end of it. Zavran, or am I? And now evading the crows. Okay. Um, I don't know where it is. I know it popped up. Okay. Anyway, or lay. Secure source of water for the outpost. Inquisitors are soldiers in the western approach. Located a suitable fresh water source. They faced some resistance from a peculiarly aggressive wyvern, but were able to subdue the threat and secure the area. I'm told that Lieutenant Kor, in particular, should be commended for his quick response. As you can imagine, their success has raised morale among our followers in the Western Approach. Cullen, deal with angry Vargasts. Cool. Meanwhile, here we go. Rumors of the Sullivan, Br Sullivan Blade. A pair of elves was found deceased in the Emprise du Lyon. Victims of the region's unnatural weather. Evidence found at their camp suggests they had discovered the resting place of the Sullivan Blade, a sword of Dalish legend. The blade was lost during the Second Age, and besides being a valuable historical artifact, it's said to be a formidable weapon. 
The Inquisition's agents should be able to trace the elves' trail back to the blade's location. To see the sword recovered by one of their own, and used in service of the Inquisition, would no doubt inspire our Dalish allies. We send Liliana. Why did the elves fail to recover the sword themselves? I want more information on this legend. Leliana, the Sullivan Blade is said to be one of the finest weapons ever crafted. The tale of its loss is rarely shared, but we're all impacted by Corypheus's madness. If the sword may serve the Inquisition, then it serves us all. During the exalted march on the Dales, a band of elves used the sword to spill innocent blood. They hoped to power magic to use against their enemies. Instead, they were punished for their savagery. Spirits reached beyond the veil and struck them down. As for the blade, to this day it lies broken on cursed land. None may touch it without meeting the same fate as those elves. The sword is real, that I know. As for the tale, I cannot say. Stories told to frighten often involve a fair deal of embellishment. That doesn't mean something real didn't inspire it. Neria, first to keep her Alandra of Clan Ralatharan. Oh, hey! Not now. Um... Wait, where? Ah, how are you doing? Oh, two and a half hours, yeah, no. Not gonna happen. Not gonna help us right now. But, deal with angry Vargas. Mm. Mm. I don't want to deal with that right now. Uh. All the glitters. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll put Cullen on that later. Learn more about dragons. Shush. Friends, I did enjoy our little venture, and I hate to be a bother, but I believe you owe me a favor. After all, Lord Enzo is quite dead. As you may recall, the crows and I are not on the best of terms. They were not pleased I sold their target out from under them. It means they don't get paid. They could have taken credit for my work, but I have already written to their employer. I earned the prize, after all. The crows would like to speak to me, as you can imagine. They have sent more of their number to her- Senia. Arsenia, it's time I left the free marches. Zevran. Liliana says my agents could plant false leads for the crows. And Cullen says Zevran was helpful. We could send soldiers to sweep Arsenia for any remaining Venatori. If Zevran left with our men, it may go unnoticed. All right. Lel uh, uh, truth or dare, the endgame. Ambassador Montelier. We have never met, but I believe you have, through discreet means, saved me from a most disagreeable connection. As I dislike being indebted to anyone, I shall endeavor to repay you with a news item of some interest. Were you aware that the Grand Duchess of Leeds recently paid a visit to Lake Celestine? Indeed, she stayed an entire fortnight as a guest of Duke Alvin Blanchard of Valmontaine. In light of her other connections and the curious amount of coin which spread across the region in the aftermath, you may wish to pay him a call. Sincerely, Duke Valère Fontaine. To which we will send Liliana, who says, send our, send our agents in. We can expose his connection to Florian for all the world to see. Let's see what we have. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> With all that taken care of, this episode ran oof a bit long. I apologize with the fussing of my computer happening. 
Uh, I may have lost a bit of track of time. And, you know, there's going to be stuff edited out. It's fine. <laughs> Who doesn't love a long episode? I love long episodes. You love long episodes. And if you don't, don't, don't tell me. I don't want to know. <clears throat> Let me live with my delusions. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next episode, when we go hunting for lost uh, mosaic pieces and explore this uh, cradle of Sullivan. Until then, bye bye.